What's that? You want a recap of the craziest news stories from last week? I'm Jeff Plitt, and this is What You Need to Know. Here's something cool. Scientists have found that humans have the genetic foundation to create venom in our bodies, which could give new meaning to being a toxic person. Now, we've obtained exclusive footage of the scientists who made that discovery. In space exploration news, NASA has a helicopter on Mars which is preparing to land on an evaporated lake to search for signs of life. Oh, I'm getting an update. They found not one, not two, but three forms of life. SpaceX is getting closer and closer to a voyage to the red planet, but their most recent rocket test sadly exploded again. I'll be honest, at this point, I don't know if he actually wants to go to Mars or if Elon just likes watching things blow up. In South Korea, a young couple accidentally vandalized a $400,000 painting by a local graffiti artist because they didn't know it was art. Officials are still searching for anyone who can tell the difference. In France, President Macron is handling a surge of coronavirus cases by setting a nationwide curfew of 7 p.m. When Biden heard that, he immediately called up Macron and said, how do you stay up that late? Apparently the punishment for any French person staying out past curfew is being forced to wear deodorant for a whole month. In Australia, an Olympic athlete and his brother have been found guilty of a $152 million cocaine plot. Interpol says it's the worst Australian plot since Crocodile Dundee 2. Finally, a young child inadvertently sparked confusion recently by posting an unintelligible gibberish tweet from the official account of US Strategic Command, which is in charge of US nukes. And I believe we have a photo of this kid. And that's the end. Please do not like, share, or subscribe. I want my videos to remain a secret, so don't show them to anyone else. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on What You Need to Know.